Now, a lot of you guys have been asking us about oral minoxidil. Is it possible and does it give results? Well, I'm going to tell you right now that it is possible and yes, it'll probably give you more hair than regular Rogaine, but there is a little side effect. Stay tuned to find out all about it. Hey guys, Leon here from HairGod.com, where people who are worried about their hair loss go to regrow their hair. Guys, if you're personally worried about your own hair loss, then do make sure to click the link in the description to take the Hair God Hair Loss Quiz. All you've got to do is answer a few short and simple questions about yourself and your hair loss, then you'll receive free, personalised, expert information on how to regrow healthy hair. Now, just before we get into the video, oral minoxidil is prescription only, so you will need to run this by your doctor to get this off-label prescription. I'm not a medical professional, so do not treat this video as medical advice. So guys, interestingly, minoxidil actually started out its life as an oral medication, and this was all the way back in the 1970s. You see, it was originally developed as an antihypertensive. That's a drug for lowering high blood pressure. And it was with the original oral version that the first patient started seeing the hair growth, which eventually led to the topical Rogaine version developed specifically for hair loss. So, the obvious question, if we knew all along that oral minoxidil regrows hair, why is Rogaine a topical? Guys, two words. Side effects. At the doses given for high blood pressure, minoxidil is basically a side effect nightmare. It increases fluid retention, which causes swelling, bloating, and weight gain. So you have to mask this with a so-called diuretic medication. The diuretic makes you urinate more and eliminate fluids at a higher rate. So the minoxidil is retaining your fluids, the diuretic is expelling them. The other major side effects are heart irregularities, especially an increase in the heart rate or an irregular beat. For this, you have to take a medication called a beta blocker. So basically, at the full dose for blood pressure, there's a good chance that you'll be taking minoxidil together with the diuretic and the beta blocker. That's three medications. But here's the thing, for hair loss, you actually don't need to take that much. To give you an idea of the differences, oral minoxidil for hypertension, you typically take between 10 to 40 milligrams a day. But for male pattern baldness, you're looking at 2.5 to 5 milligrams daily. And if you're a woman, you can certainly get away with less, probably around one milligram. So we are talking dramatically lower doses, up to 20 to 40 times less than for hypertension. Meaning that if you're young and you don't have any heart issues, your doctor should be okay to prescribe you the minoxidil. Because, as I mentioned, you will need a prescription for this. So, as you probably want to know, let's look at the results that you can expect. Now, oral minoxidil can basically treat any kind of hair loss. Male pattern hair loss, female pattern hair loss, traction alopecia, alopecia areata, you name it. And up until recently, studies were mostly looking at female populations, either for female pattern baldness or traction alopecia. But guys, we have been starting to get more research specifically into male baldness in recent years. And straight up, you're far more likely to get better results with oral minoxidil compared to the regular Rogaine. Surprisingly, it's not even close. For example, this 2019 paper looked at a group of 16 balding men who took 5 milligrams of oral minoxidil daily. The minimum treatment duration was 6 months. Every single one of the men had at least some regrowth. You can see how the results break down at the patient level in this table. I've highlighted the results column for you. A 2 is mild and 3 is marked improvement. You can see an example of what a 3 looks like in these before and after photos. So, in other words, every single man had some regrowth. And for 37% of them, the regrowth was substantial. Meaning that depending on how you slice and dice it, oral minoxidil probably is between 2 to 3 times more effective than the Rogaine. And that's at that dosage because it was on the high side. 5 milligrams daily is definitely around the maximum limit of what you want to be taking for hair loss. Which brings us to the main side effect. Oral minoxidil is basically an indiscriminate hair growth agonist. Unlike finasteride, its action is not related to DHT. Meaning that if you take too much of it, you won't just grow hair on your scalp where you want it there's a good chance that you'll have new hair growth on other areas. In this study, for example, almost a quarter of patients had hypertrichosis, which is unwanted hair growth outside of the scalp. Now, the problem with these studies, unfortunately, is that they don't go into details about which parts of the body were affected by the hypertrichosis. But anecdotally, the two most common areas are the beard and the arms. You can say the beard might even be welcome, and the arms aren't really the end of the world. But if you keep on upping the dose, eventually you're very likely to get hair everywhere. The back, the shoulders, and so on. Another report on oral minoxidil came out of Thailand a few years back, and it also gives remarkable results. 
30 men were treated with 5 milligrams daily for 24 weeks. 100% of them had regrowth, and this was, quote, remarkable in 43% of them. The regrowth was especially pronounced in the vertex and less so in the frontal area. And predictably, the most common side effect was hypertrichosis. This was seen in a whopping 93% of patients. And because again, this was 5 milligrams, and this is definitely on the high side. So who is oral minoxidil a good idea for? Well, obviously, if you've tried minoxidil, you liked the results, but maybe you quit treatment because you just couldn't be bothered with the hassle, the oral version may be a good alternative. You'll probably get similar results that you got with Rogaine in the past, and it will be much more easier for you to stick to the treatment. So you're probably wondering, how much will this cost exactly? If you go on 2.5 milligrams daily, you can get a sixth month generic supply for as little as $30. So that's 180 pills or one a day for six months. It works out at about $5 per month. Now, if you can be bothered cutting your tablets up with a pill cutter, you can get the 10 milligram pills. You can find a pack of 180 tablets for under $50. So depending on your dosage, you cut each pill into two or four pieces and you end up with one or two years of supply. And that's for $50. But again, do consult with your physician before starting this treatment. So guys, you can click the video on the screen now to learn more about the truth about male pattern boldness. Thank you.